Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have one of my favorite international boxes to share with you. It is Kazuna Box, Japan delivered to your door. Now the reason that I don't open this box here on the channel that often is because the shipping is a bit cost prohibitive. I love the box concept. It is a lifestyle box that features different elements of Japanese culture. We'll learn about different holidays and celebrations. We'll get items from stationery to gorgeous ceramics. We used to get some food items, but I think that went away with their method of shipping for a while, but now they're changing up their method of shipping again, so maybe we'll start to see some of those edible treats in there once again. I would love that. But I just can't necessarily justify the cost of shipping, especially because it has gone up. So this was the last box that I was able to get for a total of $64.99, so yes, $30 in shipping to the US. They are going back to using Japan Post, and now the shipping to the US is going to be $40, which again, it's just really hard for me to justify because usually the contents of the box are anywhere between 60 to maybe $80, maybe even a little bit more, but I would like to have a guarantee that I'm always going to get at least $75 worth of product. It's kind of hard because I realize that they can't control the shipping costs necessarily, but just as someone who has a budget for my boxes, it seems a little bit strange because it is a total mystery box. So, you know, there's definitely going to be items depending on the theme that I might not necessarily use that I might wind up re-gifting. And if I'm going to be spending $75, I want to get $75 in products that I really like and will cherish. So it is going to be a little bit of a harder sell in terms of convincing me because basically what I do right now is I just look at the upcoming theme and decide if I think that it's one that I will enjoy, that you guys will enjoy seeing on the channel, and that's how I decide. But we're gonna see right now what the total value of this May box was. Again, we're looking for a total value of 65, but you know, again, in the future, if I get the box, it's gonna be $74.99, so I would want a value of at least $75. So if you just look at the base box price, you're getting a great deal. And again, the items are really beautiful and I love what they do with the box. I always love their little pamphlet that tells you about the uh, the theme and everything, but it's just something that's gonna be hard for me to include more often. So the actual upcoming theme for July is marine life, which normally would definitely pique my interest, but um, I'm, again, trying to make room in my budget for a lot of different boxes, so you guys let me know in the comments below if you're like, yes, marine life sounds like a fantastic theme. I would love, love, love to see Kazuna box. Please let me know, and I will put that on, on the docket, but again, it's a box that I have tried to do like one per quarter, essentially, maybe four times a year, and I might have to reduce that to more like two or three times a year. So I'm just opening up that lovely box. It comes in a really nice mailer, so the box comes in great condition. They do have a little pamphlet in here about the important shipping changes and kind of explaining all of it. So they did send this out as an email. They put it in their social media, but this is just a repeat of all of that. So I do appreciate that they are explaining all of that. They've kind of showed you like what the box base price is, what the shipping is, you know, what the new prices are for a three month or six month subscription. But let's get onto the box that we get to open up today, which is Shinrin Yoku or the forest bathing, which is a concept that I love that I do think has Japanese origin. So I was really interested because I thought it would be really cool to get some like deep greens and, you know, foresty items. So I thought that would be cool. It looks like we have a total of eight items and the total retail value is $62. So even here, we're a little bit short of the $64.99 that I paid for the box. Not by a lot, but you know, if this was a box that I paid $74, Four ninety nine four, and I was getting a total retail value of sixty two. I would be a little bit, maybe a little bit disappointed. So inside, again, they tell us all about the theme, and then they tell us all about the products. So we have a lot to unwrap. So we'll go ahead and get into it. And then right here, it just says thank you for purchasing. And um, I'll go ahead and start opening up the tissue paper. It says, dear subscriber, thank you for subscribing to Kazuna Box. This month's theme is Shinrin Yoku or the forest bathing. May is the season when the fresh green is bright and then I do love that they include some Japanese newspaper in their packaging. It says in 1982 the director general of Japan's forestry agency coined the term Shinrin Yoku comparing it to hot spring bathing, sun bathing and sea bathing. In 2010 the New York Times introduced Japan's Shinrin Yoku for the first time and the idea of Shinrin Yoku spread all over the world. Did you know that? I did not. 
we have, I think, some ceramics. So I'm going to keep opening as I read. It says, based on the idea, Shinrin Yoku, that the scent of the forest will revitalize the mind and body, he asked for the forest to have the same healing effect as the hot springs. It's true that breathing fresh air in the forest is very relaxing and feels good. I think it's so natural to think of forest bathing the same way we think of sunbathing um, because it's so true that feeling when you walk into a forest and you smell all of that beautiful, vital, living everything around you is so refreshing and calming. It says, so in Japan, April 29th, May 3rd, May 4th, and May 5th, our holidays. Okay, so they skip a few days at the beginning of May. It's wonderful to have consecutive holidays in this pleasant season. And on May 5th, there is a holiday called Kodomo no Hi, which is Children's Day, so it's double holiday, to wish for the growth of children. That day is the event to wish for the growth of children and avoid illness and misfortune for children. Hopefully that's every day. It says, and the second Sunday in May is designated as Mother's Day in Japan, much like it is here in the States. It says, Mother's Day varies from country to country and the form of celebration varies but isn't the habit of having a feeling of thank you to your mother and communicating it in the form form of it in every country. In this month's box, we prepare many Japanese items that will make you enjoy the Shinrin Yoku, or the forest bathing. We promise that beautiful pottery and cute stationery will make you happy time. It literally says that. It's going to make us happy time, everyone. So we'd like to thank you again for purchasing our box and giving us the opportunity of delivering Japan to you. Without further ado, enjoy unboxing. So I've just been kind of slowly unwrapping things as uh, I've been reading that to you so that I can show all of the beautiful items to you. So they do a lot of wrapping where it's in paper, it's in some perforated paper, it's in some uh, newspaper. So everything has always come in good condition, knock on wood to me. So the first item that we have is this gorgeous mug. It says Minoyaki evergreen colored Yunomi teacup. Evergreen trees will keep their beautiful green color even in the cold winter and are sprouting new leaves. This teacup is an image of such a fresh green color. The fresh green tea you drink from this dark green cup teacup is exceptional. It is dishwasher safe. We love that. So I love this deep, dark, mossy green that I received. I was a little bit worried because in the pamphlet, it's a lot of a brighter but still mossy green. And you can see how much deeper and darker this one actually is. So I'm very excited about that. It's lovely. I do have kind of a budding Japanese teacup collection that I'm going to have to find a shelf a display shelf for one of these days and then hopefully I'll actually get to go to Japan one day but I do like that you can also use it for all kinds of other things like as a receptacle to hold I don't know toothpicks q-tips other things makeup brushes you could use it for all kinds of other things it's a lovely little piece so it does tell us a little bit about uh, Minoyaki. It says, originated from Gifu Prefecture, Minoyaki, or Minoware, is Japan's most popular pottery. Its history is said to date back to 1,300 years ago. So I love all of that, uh, that element of history and so many of the items that we get in this box as well. We also got a leaf-shaped lacquerware small plate. So this looks like ceramic and you can kind of see it does have some of the veins of the leaf, but it is lacquerware. So it says uh, it is a small plate of Echizen lacquerware can be used for a wide range of purposes from everyday use to hospitality. It is also good to use as a saucer for a teacup. Because lacquerware is often used at the dining table, it is safe and made in Japan, but it is hand wash only because it is lacquerware. So it's just, it looks like ceramic though, doesn't it? But it does have a little bit more of that shine to it. So I do like to use my lacquerware bowls and dishes. There you guys can kind of see the, uh, the vein pattern on there a little bit better. So that's kind of fun. Then we have this bigger uh, piece. This is kind of looks like it should be for St. Patrick's Day, doesn't it? It almost looks like it should be in the March spring box. So this is a heart-shaped clover plate, large heart-shaped clover plate. This plate will brighten up your dining table. Perfect for serving desserts, fruits, and salads. The four-leaf clover of happiness is drawn on the plate. Will make you feel happy. So it is dishwasher safe, which we like. I kind of wish sometimes they would say that on the bottom because I lose track of which ones are dishwasher safe and which ones are hand wash only sometimes my husband loses track of it this is kind of more modern looking I usually like the uh, sort of more rustic uh, stoneware and ceramics that we get in this box but it is still really pretty and I could see you know making a little snack plate with that it kind of looks nice um, sort of stacked with all of these different greens all together right so kind of all those different hues of green together look really lovely 
All right, we also have, it says a pretty flower soap. So this came in a little heart shaped thing. It's very, very lightweight. So I'm curious what this is. So it says it is a pretty flower soap with fragrance in a heart shaped case. It's nice to decorate it as it is or freely depend or arrange it in a flower vase how to use it spreads freely depending on your ideas and then there's an asterisk that says it cannot be used as soap so it is a pretty flower soap that you cannot use as soap so i'm guessing maybe they mean that it's made out of soap but it doesn't actually clean i don't know if i'm even supposed to open it i'm gonna open it though it's it's very taped shut though like very taped so let me see if I can sneak into it because it does say that it has a pretty fragrance so maybe it's just supposed to be like a sachet which I mean I do sometimes use pretty soaps as sachets in drawers or in the bathroom or something but it's kind of funny that they said that so I don't actually smell anything it just looks like and it doesn't feel like soap honestly it feels like just a. it just feels like a fake flower almost like a fabric flower it's definitely not soap so I guess it's just maybe supposed to look like soap but it doesn't actually have a fragrance so I find that very strange that is probably one of the strangest things that I've ever gotten in a Kizuna box because it's listed as a soap that you can't use as a soap and it also just doesn't like really fit with me with the forest bathing theme to me just because it's red roses. I don't know. It just seems very like manicured and not like that wild foresty feeling. So that's a little bit of a miss for me. But we are right back on track with another ceramic piece. This is lovely. Flower tortoise shell small plate. Tortoise shell pattern is one of the traditional Japanese auspicious patterns in Japan. The tortoise shell pattern is one of the patterns that has been loved for a long time because of its good omen that brings good luck for long life. It's also good to have an auspicious pattern on hand for kodomo Kodomonohi, which I think is the Children's Day, yes, uh, May 5th. So this is hand wash only, so that's one of those things that I would not remember, but it is a lovely little dish. I have quite the stack now of Japanese ceramic dishes, but I do use them. I use them a lot when I'm taking photos. I use them a lot when I'm just like presenting little snacks. It's really fun to have all those little condiments and like toppings on stuff on different dishes. I don't know that this is necessarily super foresty to me either, but this is more of the like kind of traditional looking ceramic in terms of patterns that I like from this box. So again, even though it's blue and it doesn't go with all the greens, it makes way more sense than the not soap. <laughs> all right, we also have a, this is a Kaya no Fukin, which is, let's see, this, I believe, is a fabric dishcloth. It says it's a dishcloth made of mosquito nets fabric, so it's kind of that mesh. Let's see if I can get into this. I'm trying to figure out where the plastic uh, opens. It says uh, that takes advantage of the tradition of making mosquito nets in nada. It has a spring herb design. It says chlorine bleach can also be used. Tips for fluffy use. All right, to, to fluff it up. So you can kind of see it's almost... Um, let me put that off to the side so I don't lose it. So it's here's what it looks like, but it's almost quilted. Do you see the stitches going down? There's certain uh, panels. It says, when used for the first time, soak in warm water and wash the cloth carefully for removing the glue. After drying, this cloth will be fluffy and very soft. So I guess it's like created using glue, but you can kind of see it's like a double layer. So it's got this mesh on the other side. So it's like they've like glued it together all, like yeah, there's definitely two layers, this white layer and this side. So it's like hollow in the center. So I bet it would be really good when you're scrubbing things because it's going to kind of create that lather with the soap. It's very pretty. I've never really seen a dishcloth like, like this, but I could see how this side of it is a little bit rougher. So probably good for scrubbing. And this other side with the print is a lot softer, um, but interesting. But that definitely goes a little bit more and it kind of ties some blue in so it kind of tied our little uh, dish in here as well. Then we got some promised um, stationery. So this is My Garden Collect. It's two designs and 16 sheets and it's just this little, I guess a notepad. It says there's seven sheets per pack. 
but this one says 16 so I'm gonna go with what it says on the actual item it says this letter set uses high quality paper called hoshogami hoshogami is a type of traditional Japanese paper this Japanese paper has a long history and it is said that it was used for official documents in the Muromachi period which is around 1350 so it's very floral very um, springy on the inside this is a letter paper that can be casually used both for memo writing and letter um, interesting so that's one of the patterns it does say that it has two let me see if I can find another one it looks like a fancy checkbook almost it looks like a checkbook design I don't actually see the other oh I guess there are two patterns that they're just very very similar so here is one with these like daisies or sunflowers on this side and then the next one is just a border without those daisies there so it's very thin paper but I guess you could just write your notes you know add things you could probably write your note and paper clip it to the check if you were giving someone a check as a gift or thanking them for something and repaying them but that's a very interesting shape um it's a little floral and like cutesy for me i usually like the more elegant more um like i guess austere stationary designs that we get sometimes i also like the really cute like super cute like kawaii stuff that we occasionally get but that was interesting so it's more of like a nature theme i feel like than like a springy nature theme than like forest bathing i was really looking forward to some like deep dark greens and fog and I don't know just like how I feel and I walk into a evergreen forest we did get a postcard we often get a postcard this one is really cute because it has cats and you guys know like I said I do like I tend to like really contemporary elegant things and then I have a soft spot for cats and cute things too so very eclectic but this is adorbs so let me show it to you we've got a lot going on here so there's some little uh, baby cats down there in the foreground and some grown-up cats there in the background it's Kono Konobori and Shoubu postcard it says Ko Inobori or carp streamers that's what those are called at the top I knew that I've definitely seen that word before Ko Inobori it says and Hana Shoubu Japanese iris that's the main part down here I just had some irises they were gorgeous are the symbolic items of Kodo Monohi which is children's day so that's why we got the little kitties down here this postcard depicts a scene of enjoying Kodo Monohi all right so that is our postcard. I do actually really like that if you have like a postcard collection, if you're definitely a, like a Japanophile, this might be a fun thing to hold on to. You could also just use it as a postcard. I've kind of like kept a lot of the postcards that I've gotten from um, Kizuna Box and then eventually I just use them as like little note cards. So some of you might have gotten a giveaway for me and had a little thank you note that was written on one of these uh, Kizuna Box uh, postcards. So. Honestly, I think I might still be in sticker shock from the news of the increase in shipping. But again, I only pay the $64.99 for this box. But I'm a little bit disappointed because I was just so, so excited and had really, really high expectations for this particular theme, which maybe was unfair. I think the thing that's also really throwing me off is the non-soap roses because they just seem so non sequitur. They seem so off from the rest of this box. But we did still get some nice stationery, a little quirky we got a dishcloth but useful the postcard is cute and then in terms of the ceramics and dishware that we got again it's just not like my favorite it's because I've gotten such beautiful pieces before from them I don't mind the lacquerware leaf just because I know I'll use it it's like could make a great little ring dish or jewelry dish as well um, this is just not my personal style even though the colors are pretty um, and I like the size of it because we get so many like teeny tiny plates these are definitely my two favorite items I think those are really cool because they have multiple functions you could use them for a lot of different things besides like having to use this as a teacup but this is like fewer items than we usually get in a Kazuna box as well I usually feel like we get like 9 to 11 items this time we got 8 items and again the total retail value I think in my in my experience is again a little bit lower than what I'm used to as well so 
I hope that uh, they can compel me with an upcoming theme to give it a try and we'll see how it goes. Like I said, if you're really interested in seeing the July theme of Marine Life, let me know in the comments below or we'll collectively wait and see when something comes up. But I would like to see a little bit more value. I know that's not their fault that the shipping has gone up, but just me as a buyer, as someone who gets one-time boxes, sometimes I have to be really careful with my money and um, this was not my favorite box. It was not bad, but it was not my favorite, but I am looking forward to getting another one hopefully in the somewhat near future, at least another one this year. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it, and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.